For most people, the metaverse promises a chance to escape from the real world. But for one country, it's the last chance for survival. In a matter of decades, Tuvalu, a low-lying Pacific nation, will disappear due to rising sea levels. In addition to the displacement that comes from loss of physical land, the people of Tuvalu face another threat, the loss of their rights as a nation. International law currently dictates that without a defined physical territory, a country cannot exist. Tuvalu's maritime borders, international voting rights and place on the world stage will all be lost. Working with the Tuvaluan government, we launched a radical plan for survival. Tuvalu will become the first digital nation. We announced the plan to the world at COP27, where Minister Simon Kofe delivered a speech from the first part of the digital nation. Piece by piece, we'll preserve our country, provide solace to our people, and remind our children and our grandchildren what our home once was. The launch reached 2.1 billion people, and the resulting conversation put pressure on world leaders to act. So far, nine countries have recognised Tuvalu's digital sovereignty, putting them on the path to remaining a functioning state. A landmark loss and damage fund was also announced for climate-affected countries, but it won't be enough to save the real Tuvalu. As sea levels continue to rise, Tuvalu will migrate to the metaverse. Cultural stories, ancestral records, flora, fauna, administration and government services will all be transferred to the cloud. Tuvalu is the first to face this fight. But without meaningful climate action, it won't just be Tuvalu that has to ask, what happens to a country without land? Tuvalu <laughs>